The BioHorizons 3-in-1 abutment is a versatile abutment that enables clinicians to deliver and restore implants using a minimal number of components. Besides being used as an abutment, the gold-hued 3-in-1 abutment can also be used as a surgical mount and an impression component. This patented, innovative solution comes packaged with every BioHorizons internal, external, and tapered internal implant, bringing tremendous value and simplicity to the surgical and restorative team. The following presentation describes a typical procedure for patients presenting to the restorative dentist with a healing abutment in place. For illustration purposes, an internal hex implant is shown, but the techniques and materials are equally applicable for an external hex implant. At the first restorative visit, unscrew the healing abutment with an 050 hex driver. Irrigate the prosthetic platform to remove any debris and dry thoroughly. Seat the 3-in-1 abutment in the implant's hex. Both the abutment and implant platform are color-coded to ensure proper component mating. Insert the ball top screw and finger tighten by hand or with the 050 hex driver. Radiographically verify complete abutment seating before making the impression. Syringe elastomeric impression material around the abutment ball top assembly. Record a full arch impression with a tray loaded with the same or heavier bodied material. After the material sets, carefully remove the tray. Unthread the ball top screw, remove the 3-in-1 abutment, and replace the healing abutment. If desired, a provisional prosthesis may be fabricated using a peak plastic temporary abutment. Send the abutment, ball top screw, abutment screw, analog and impression, as well as a bike registration, shade and opposing model to the dental laboratory. At the lab, the technician will attach the abutment to an analog with a ball top screw and index the assembly into the impression. A stone model with soft tissue material will be created replicating the exact spatial orientation of the implant in the patient. The technician will seat the abutment on the model with the abutment screw and modify it as necessary for draw and angulation and to refine margin heights. An anti-rotational feature will be maintained in single tooth cases. A custom prosthesis will be fabricated using standard laboratory procedures. At the second restorative visit, remove the healing abutment or provisional prosthesis and irrigate the prosthetic platform to remove any debris and dry thoroughly. Seat the prepared abutment in the patient, being certain to maintain the same orientation as was found on the model. Hand tighten the abutment screw with the 050 hex driver and radiographically verify complete abutment seating. Apply 30 newton centimeters of torque to the abutment screw with a calibrated torque wrench. An abutment clamp may be used to help shield the bone implant interface from excessive stress. Fill the screw access channel with a resilient material to prevent the ingress of cement. Seat the prosthesis and confirm fit and contour. Check occlusion and modify if necessary. Line the inside margin of the prosthesis with a thin layer of soft access cement. Seat the prosthesis and remove any excess cement from the sulcus. Take a radiograph for prosthesis delivery records and dismiss the patient with home care instructions.